Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Capricorn, I want to take the time to encourage you guys and to remind you guys to let's put love out into the universe. We are experiencing difficult and trialing times. There is a lot of transformative type of energy and it's going to continue happening. Um, so I think that it's very important for us to really put positive energy out into the universe right now. I think that, you know, we are lacking that. Um, and it's very important to be understanding, compassionate, and loving towards one another. Um, you know, regardless of what's going on, uh, try the best you can to help those that you're able to. Um very difficult and sad times and i hope you and your family is staying safe let's get into your reading capricorn this is for capricorn sun moon rising and venus let's see what spirit has for this month of june your first card is the queen of wands you may be dealing with fire energy sagittarius leo sagittarius leo or aries type of energy this can also represent you, Capricorn. I see you guys very attuned, um, being more confident, more kind of owning your power. Um, now, I do want to say for some of you guys, you guys have the hanged man here and this is the obstacle. So it's important to see things from a different perspective. Don't be so stuck in the mud, Capricorn. Don't be very, you know, not wanting to see or understand other people's perspectives. Um, take a different approach when dealing with certain situations, especially situations that have to do with partnerships. Uh, the hanged man could also represent the need to... As an obstacle, there is a need to take action. With the Queen of Wands, this is a action type of energy. So for this month of June, Capricorn, I think your outcome in regards to whether it be finances, whether it be partnerships, is all about taking action. So don't sit and wait for things to happen. Don't sit and wait for things to either progress or to calm down. You got to take action. You have the Page of Swords in the past and passing. Someone's stalking you, Capricorn. Someone's looking at you at your social medias. Someone is definitely from afar looking at what you're doing. Now, you also have the Four of Coins here. So there is some type of beholding or some type of desire that will be manifested for you. You have the Two of Cups, okay, and the Three of Coins. Wow, well, okay. So what they're saying here with the two of cups for some of you guys, uh, you, you know, love could be on your mind, uh, emotions, um, understanding, duality, even um, balance is what's uh, what they're saying. Now, with the four of coins, what they're saying here. If you've been working hard or wanting to achieve some type of goal, I think that the month of June is manifestation for you, Capricorn. If you've been struggling with your finances, um, you're going to feel almost like a loving embrace, like loving energy around you. This could be people around you. This could be the universe uh, basically taking care or looking out for you. And it's almost like an overwhelming feeling because for some of you guys, you could have been experiencing like a lot of difficulties lately. Um And being able to attain or being able to manifest things um, is something that, that they're saying. So again, try to approach this in a loving way. Count your blessings, Capricorn. Uh, genuinely count your blessings. Be thankful for what you have. Stop worrying about the lack of. Put more energy towards what you have and what you're wanting to bring in. Now, you have the two of swords not being able to see a situation uh, the way you're supposed to. It's almost like you're being stubborn. Um, is what they're saying, um, and not wanting to take some type of self-responsibility. So in regards to relationships or partnerships, uh, there is definitely someone from your past looking at, like I said, looking at you, seeing what you're doing, looking at the moves you're taking, etc. Don't be distracted 
with the two of cups, uh, this could represent loving embrace. Okay. So what they're telling you here is that if you've been feeling like suppressed emotions, or like you're kind of taking people's responsibilities, you know, because you're trying to help them out, trying to be the savior, like you tend to be Capricorn. Uh, with the two of swords, what they're telling you is that it's time to stop complacency. It's it's time to stop feeling like you got to save the world. You got to work on yourself to be able to help others. With the nine of cups, emotional fulfillment, wish fulfillment. So you have the four of coins which is being able to behold or being able to attain or being able to have nine of cups, emotional fulfillment overflowing. So again, stop looking towards the past Capricorn. Stop looking at what's going wrong in your life and start focusing on what's going good in your life. Now you also have here the 10 of swords. So your struggles and difficulties are completely coming to an end, especially if you guys have been having issues with finances. You have the six of coins. So there is balance. There is give and take. And we go back to that of what I was saying, counting your blessings. The more you acknowledge the lack that you have, whether it's in relationships, whether it's in partnerships, whether it's in business, whether it's in finances, whatever you're putting out, that's exactly what's echoing back to you. So the more you focus on what you don't have, the more you're going to get of that situations that make you feel like you're lacking. And what they're telling you is that your difficulties and strife has, has come to an end. Um, it's time for you to be more positive, be more optimistic. Like I said, count your blessings, be thankful, be grateful. When you start putting that energy out, that's exactly what the universe is going to echo back, giving you more reasons to be thankful, giving you more reasons to be um, feeling bountiful, feeling blessed. Now, if you are currently in a relationship, what they're saying here is that your fears about the past or feeling like the past has influence where you're at at this point in time. It's still reliving the past. So you got to let go of that energy, Capricorn. You got to think ahead. Think in the future. Stop living in the past. And that includes if you felt at some point in your past that you were doing great and now you look back and you're like, that was the best time of my life. That's exactly what you're still continuously bringing into your life. The feeling of Back then it was the best. Now it's just difficulties and strife and all of that. What they're telling you is that you got to be, basically what they're telling me here, Capricorn, is that you are the orchestrator of your life. You got to take ownership. Stop blaming people. Stop blaming situations and circumstances. You got to take ownership and say, okay, you know what? I'm going to start to put out intentions in a positive way when you start to see that things start to progressively go better, more blessings start to come in, more money, more abundance starts to come in, more stability, then you are proving to yourself that you are the orchestrator of your life. I hope that makes sense. All right, my lovelies. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.